it's very evident that there are a lot of boutique firms and I think what I would really appeal to the design market is to submit there's some really fantastic designers out there so let's submit let's work together to uh, build the standard and to become an absolutely world-class uh, group of designers who are working together to compete fairly and ethically and do some fantastic work. It was a really nice experience for me. I, it's my first time as a, as a jury and uh, I really love it to, to have our colleague and express ourselves about architecture and design. The CID Awards as a platform for design is a great event uh, and, and the process, you know, and it has grown hugely from, I remember at the beginning, I think, this platform is really important you know, for this region. I think the last year has been challenging for all of us and I think that only makes this year's submissions that much more valuable. Uh, the perseverance, the integrity, the rigor in design and the, the, the effort and creativity it takes to not only design but to deliver projects and deliver projects to a high quality uh, when the market pressures are perhaps uh, pushing you another way. So I think it's really commendable uh, and I think is really uh, exemplary of the industry as a whole to say there's a lot of resilience here, there's a lot of talent and even in tough times uh, we can be resilient so uh, I think it's a real positive message uh, to take away from this year's awards. CID is the region's um, platform for awards. I, there is no other award or there is no other sort of magazine that can really um, capture what's happening in the region uh, now. You have other publications and other awards but CID really is the benchmark for all awards regionally. Um, I think it's now developed to where it can be uh, a player in the global stage of other awards. So um, yeah, CID has, they, you've, you've upped your game and it's, uh, it's good to see that we're, we're producing homegrown um, categories and awards that are, that are top notch. I think this year there were some really clear winners. There were some projects that were really out of the box. I think they're really going to elevate the industry. Um, there were some projects in, uh, in all categories actually, but particularly public and residential that I just thought demonstrated intellect as well as beautiful design. Um, so I'm very, very happy about that. The nomination being done in a very smart way, you know, where we look into it from different aspects, from design aspect, from experience aspect, from detailing, from style, from color, and I think we have done a, a good job by looking into analyzing the whole aspect of the whole project, the whole design method of thinking. That was, uh, I think, a nice experience. The Commercial Interior Design Awards has cemented its position as the industry-leading ceremony for design in the Middle East. More companies than ever before entered the competition this year, and we received over 400 nominations for another year on the bounce. At Cosentino's showroom in Dubai Design District in August, the judges put these submissions through a comprehensive evaluation process to determine a winner in each of the 18 categories. While the entries were discussed in an open forum, they were scored privately and even the judges don't know who has won yet, although I'm sure they have an inkling. There were projects and people in the shortlist this year that the judges have singled out for praise there are designers here in the region creating work that is raising the bar for great design in the GCC and thus elevating the industry to world-class standards. Our special thanks goes out to all the judges for giving up their valuable time and invaluable insight to help select the winners for the 13th iteration of the Commercial Interior Design Awards. We wish all the finalists the very best of luck tonight. Thank you.